Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about a glycolic peel that you can do at home that is 30%. Most glycolic peels you do at home are between 3 and 5%. So this is extremely strong and I will talk about how to handle this respectfully. First of all, I wanted to cover the benefits. It has so many benefits, I can't even rave about this enough. So it reacts with the top layer of your skin, it breaks down the sebum that helps the cells to regenerate. It also makes it so your other products are more beneficial because you don't have that old hard layer on top. It will help the cells to absorb everything and get deeper. It restores your pH balance. I did the video on eczema and one of the things that's causing eczema is your pH balance being off. So this is fabulous for helping with that. Um, it, the, it gives an even exfoliation of the skin. It helps diminish the fine lines. It dramatically reduces age spots. I've had so many comments on my hands when I'm doing the inventory video and Mark has started using it. He has quite a few extremely deep age spots and I'm going to show you some pictures of the before and after. It has been so beneficial. If you have acne, it helps with blocked pores and blackheads. Um, it helps reduce uh, any kind of scarring you have and it minimizes your pores. It helps with elasticity. It brightens. It just has so many incredible benefits. I was scared of it. I do not have sensitive skin, but there is nothing to be scared of. Mark has more sensitive skin than I do, and I will share with you how we've used it. This is extremely cost effective. I'll put a link below to Amazon. It is less than $30 for 30 mils. I think that per ounce, this is the most cost effective solution that I have seen out there and the strongest. Your skin needs to get used to this. Start off less. <laughs> Don't take it on too long. When you put it on your skin, you will feel a tingling and a burning. You want to wash it off fairly soon after that. Less is more. If you start and it's too little, you can do a little more the next time. Mark did it too much one time and he had some very serious reddening around his age spots. He now has the proper respect for it that I tried to tell him. He thought, oh, if I leave it on longer, it's going to work better. No, it can actually damage your skin, so you want to be respectful. I would say start off at about 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how skin sensitive your skin is. I have extremely tough skin. I started off at about 45 seconds to a minute. I am now up to five minutes. We do it once a week, even if you you do not want to be self tanning because everywhere you put this will be lighter because of the glycolic peel. So this is not something you want to do when you're self tanning. I do it less in the summer than in the winter. I still do do it right before I self tan. So however long my tan takes to wear off, I will do this, go in the shower, wash it off, exfoliate, and then do my self tan after that. So I'm still able to use it somewhat in the summer, but I use it much more regularly in the winter. So you need a clean face and you put on just a couple of drops on each area. You don't need to have it really heavy, but you don't want it so light that it's drying instantly. You will feel it kind of has a little bit of a gel feel. And so rub it in on your cheeks, your nose, your forehead. You want to avoid the sensitive areas around your nose and around your eyes and your lips. Put it on your chin, your chest, I put some on my legs where I have age spots that I'm getting rid of and on your hands. Like I said, leave this on, start slow, 30 seconds. I do it about five minutes. You can wash it off over the sink because I put it on on my legs. I go into the shower. So I do this right before I go in the shower. Make sure you have your eyes closed, obviously, when you're rinsing this off and rinse off all of it. After you come out of the shower or after you've washed your face in the sink, Put on a good fragrance-free moisturizer to hydrate your skin. It doesn't, for me, actually peel. What it does is the fine little flakes, the same as what I get with retinol or had in the beginning of retinol. I'm now used to retinol so it doesn't do that. The same with this, I no longer peel at all. You may get just the finest little bit of flakes. If you find that in the morning when you wash your face, maybe just wipe it down with gently with a washcloth before you put on your makeup just so that all the flakes are gone. That is just the cell turnover and that's a very healthy thing and you will notice very quickly how well this works. Mark 
was using the vitamin C. I did the video on that and I still continue using the vitamin C. He was doing it not so much for the beneficial properties of the elasticity and the brightening of the skin that you get, but he was doing it for the age spots and it was working much too slowly for him. Well then he discovered that I was using this and he's like, what is that? How you know, why are you using it? He started using it and he loves it so much that he was wanting to use it more often than once a week and leaving it on longer than he should. And I kept saying, is it burning? And he goes, yeah, but it's in a good way. I'm like, honey, you shouldn't leave it on too long. He thought more was better. He had some serious red marks around where he had some age spots. They healed, they put aloe vera on them just to heal them up, but it is not something that I would recommend. And I think he learned his lesson and that he's being more respectful of this. Less is more. I would say if you have sensitive skin, start at 15 seconds and work up in 15 second increments each week. You will get comfortable with this and you will know very quickly for yourself what works and what doesn't. I was scared in the beginning because I could feel the burning. I washed it off like way too early. So the next time I knew and you, you'll get more comfortable gauging it. So as long as you don't overdo it in leaving it on too long and don't use it more than once a week, you will experience amazing benefits from this. I hope that I've helped to answer any questions. If you have any questions I haven't answered, leave them below. But I hope I've helped you feel comfortable with this and that you'd be interested in trying it because I think it is a fabulous product. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.